Hey guys, Coach Chris here, yourfitnesspath.com, and today we're going to show you how to put together one of these medicine ball racks with uh, some simple PVC pipe, and uh, we're going to show you exactly how we put ours together. There's a couple different variations of it, but so let's get to it. Okay guys, so this is the finished product and what's, what's nice about this thing is it can hold about six medicine balls. I've only got four at the moment, uh, but what I do uh, is, is I put my, my power stands on there or if you've got room for it, it's great for one of these big medicine balls, or I'm sorry, these stability ball. And, uh, keeps the balls from rolling around if you don't have a, a exact place to put them at the moment so it's very handy it costs about twelve dollars put together um, a little extra if you add the, the uh, tape like I did uh, but we're gonna break it all down for you and show you exactly how to make it all right okay so here's here's everything kind of broken down for us here. Um, what I actually did was I bought two five foot uh, one and a quarter inch uh, pieces of PVC and I cut these down to I don't know it's about it's about three feet three and a half feet and then I have a couple of smaller pieces that are that are about two feet in, in length 18 inches <clears throat> and then I've got four elbow joints and I've got six T-joints and then I actually cut about a, a four or five inch uh, just piece of the leftover PVC here to, to join the pieces together. So <clears throat> really there's not a whole lot to what makes up the entire medicine ball rack but as you can see there's a lot of kind of parts here so we're going to go through the different mechanisms or the, the process for putting these together. Okay, so I actually wrapped this PVC in just some standard duct tape, uh, mainly because uh, if you know anything about uh, PVC, and there's a little bit showing here, but that's just where that's going to be covered up by the joint. It's got some lettering and stuff on it, and just this makes it look a little bit more um, aesthetic. And uh, so I just wrapped it in PVC, or I'm sorry, in, in duct tape. But you'll notice at the bottom of it, I just kind of cut it every time I wrapped it instead of using a continuous piece of tape because that kind of wastes more tape that way. So it takes a little bit of time to go through the wrapping of each piece of pipe, but I think it looks a little bit better once it's all put together. So the first thing we'll do is we take these two long pieces and we'll throw a an elbow or I'm sorry, a T joint in here. And then another one on the other side, like so. And then these two get connected together. Like this. Now you can make this a little bit wider if you want to. Um, if you have the need for um, some larger medicine balls. But uh, you know, I went with about <coughs> I went with enough space to support the eight pound medicine ball that I have so I kept it a little, a little bit short because otherwise if you get it too far apart uh, the med ball will actually make this pipe probably sp uh, split open a little bit. Let me take the, the elbow joints here and these basically turn into our the feet that hold it up off the ground so we put those in there like that. Let's do it back that way. Then we do the same thing on the other side except on this one we just have a regular T um, with, with no um, in-between piece so this basically uh, is going to hold the support, this is going to be the foot of the medicine ball rack in the middle to kind of give it some additional support. Obviously you can go shorter or longer, I think the longer you get with these pieces of pipe the, the, the more sag you get and so that's why I went with a short piece and then just a T joint in the middle to kind of give it some additional support there. And then we continue on 
with the shorter pieces of pipe. And then it basically works exactly the same way as the other joint did. You take a T with a piece of support uh, pipe in between and another T on the other side, like that. And then again, you've got a couple of elbow joints that hold up the, uh, the rack off the ground. And you know, you might have to tweak its squareness a little bit by just kind of pressing down on, on the corners a little bit to get it completely square. But I chose not to use any kind of cement to hold it together because at some point I'll probably maybe make a larger one or maybe change this one around a little bit so I didn't feel like the, the weight of the balls needed the extra glue to create a mess and all that uh, that goes along with it so once you're all done with it you know you can make sure that it's square and then just load it back up or load it up with the, your with your med balls here got my assistant Grant helping me today So you can, you can see it holds four balls pretty well, and I could probably get a couple more in here. Uh, but being the fact that I don't have them, go ahead and give me those. I've just <clears throat> been using it to hold my, my, uh, my power stands and keep those out of the way. Alright, so here's our finished med ball rack. And, um, you know, again, it costs about 10 to $12, depending on where you get your stuff. Some of you may already have some PVC laying around that, from old home improvement projects. Um, the, the tees and the elbow joints, you're probably going to have to go get, but they're pretty cheap. Um, and I think it works pretty well. It keeps the balls from rolling around and keeps them kind of organized. Gives you a little bit more of a, an aesthetic look with, with the duct tape and everything. So I hope this video was helpful and go out and make a med ball rack. You know, one thing I had thought about making a change to was making it a vertical rack, but I didn't know if the PVC would, uh, would hold it quite as sturdily. But, you know, I saved about 80 bucks on the one that I was planning on purchasing. So, you know, 80 bucks is no uh, chump change. So, you know, check, definitely look into making your own medicine ball rack and, and let me know how it goes. All right, Grant, you gonna tell them Goodbye for the day. Batman. Alright. Alright guys, check out the rest of my videos on my channel. Coach Chris at yourfitnesspath.com. Thanks.